Hey everybody, welcome back. Room with Texas Water Fishing. And I had a couple questions recently asking me how I load my kayak and how I strap it up. I just got off the water and I'm gonna show you how I load my kayak up. Now, one thing that I do, I always use, I'll make sure I always take with me a cart. Uh, today I don't have my typical cart. I, I have, I normally take out with me. I really like the Blue Dot Outfitters cart, but today I do have my old scupper hole plug-in uh, Hobie cart. And I'm gonna show you how I load the kayak up. Now, if you don't have a cart, it's always a good idea to maybe put a mat down before uh, before you elevate your kayak, put it down right where you're gonna put your kill at on your bottom of your kayak, because you don't want to drag your kayak over time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and wear out that plastic right there, and it could lead you to you know more trouble than what it's worth. So if you don't have a cart, maybe you can put a mat down. I always carry a mat with me, like that one. That's a floor mat. I put it up against the back of my truck so when I'm loading my kayak, my nose of my kayak doesn't rub or touch. I make sure when I load my kayak, I don't touch the the well, wheel well either. I also have an additional mat right here because I don't want anything that your kayak's gonna rub against as it vibrates and goes down the road, it's gonna wear out the plastic there. So I have a, a, a mat in the bed of my truck. And uh, yeah, so, so I don't want my kayak, I want to keep my kayak as long as I can don't want to rub any unnecessary hose in it because we know with your on the oyster reefs rocks or or you know maybe something you, you don't see some object in the water you're going to do some involuntary wear and tear on your kayak so no sense to uh of doing it <laughs> intentionally here's a the, the hobie cart and it fits in my scupper hose like that and i'm just gonna lift the nose on my cart it's great to have a bed extender it, it really helps a lot in keeping your your load your kayak secure so after put the nose on there there just lift this bottom up push it straight in grab the old hobie cart put it in here and like I said Having a bed extender really helps a lot. I'm gonna put the sides in my bed extender right here. Kind of keeps it in place. Gives you another point of contact for your kayak. If you do have a if you have a pickup truck, it keeps you another point of contact and gives you an extra place where you can really secure down. So Put those on there like so now I prefer to use these kayak straps over ratchet straps they're not going to really grip your kayak and, and squeeze your quiet kayak like a ratchet strap real will um, I know a lot of people will use ratchet straps but I really prefer these over over a ratchet strap you can get tremendous of pounds of weight they, they can uh, strap down tremendous of pound of weight this one's over 200 pounds so i have the eyes right here on both sides i will fasten one going straight across and then i will go around the handle and it's important to know that when i do go around the handle i'm not going to put a lot of pressure on these handles i'm not going to ratchet down or tighten it as strong as i can so there's one that go and it's probably a little bit of overkill but i put one here one here one there and then one around the back side of this kayak and it might be it might be a little overkill but you know i feel more secure i've had a situation before not uh on on the uh the roof of my suv had a situation before where one of the straps came loose so i always i double it up now all right so i'm gonna toss this over here go through that eye right there come back around and I know some people gonna be like man that's way too much I put one little strap of mine and and I've done it that way for years but you know what this just gives me a better peace of mind I mean I could literally dukes a hazard jump over ramps and and my my kayak isn't going to budge at all 
I have full faith in that. So I'll just strap it down like that. That is good to go. I'll do a couple simple, couple simple overhand knots. And that's that, that's that with that one. I have a tonneau cover, so that cover is going to cover and take any wind resistance. But this will help keep this in place from the nose going up and down. So if I didn't have a cover, I kind of have this in place too. Because in case my crate slides, this isn't secured and leave it in there. All right, and like I said, I'm just going to simply go around, go around my handle right here. And then I'm going to go around, go into this. To this through this eye like so and then I'm gonna fasten it here like that so kind of like that you know I don't want the metal touching my kayak so I kind of Pulled it and it's just gonna go like that and I'm not making it super tight I'm gonna do a few overhand knots and then that's that's all it's gonna take right there a couple overhand knots and then it's gonna stay in place like I said I'm not once I have it all tightened up if I want to tighten it up a little more I still can come over to the other side do the same thing I'm gonna come through here come to there again Go through that eye. Right there. Feed it back through here. And there we go. And again, it's not going to be super tight. I'm not going to make this super tight. It's just going to secure it in place and keep it rocking from back and forth. And I'll make a couple overhand knots on this one. And you can go as extensive as extensive knot as you want. You can make a really, really good knot if you want. Me, I'm gonna do a couple simple overhand knots because I wanted to come undone pretty easy when I get back to the house. So that's done, that's done. And that's really gonna be it. That's really all you need. But I do like to put another strap on the back end of this kayak. I do, like I said, I like to double up. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it around this post almost see I'm gonna go in and come back around and then come up again and then I'm gonna feed it through I'm gonna feed it through there and I'm just gonna wrap it around this a few times and just do a couple overhead knots all right, I'm gonna lift up on the back end. And it's not gonna be going anywhere. I'm gonna grab the side a little bit, shake it. If I wanna tighten up a little more, I can. I'm not really too too concerned about it going, getting loose. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything to have a little bit of slack on it. I mean, like I said, you don't want to really tighten this down a whole, whole lot. It doesn't have to be Gorilla Strong. Put my tiny cover down lock that down in place and then that's it you know that is it is good to go i can go on the highway going 80 90 miles an hour not that i really go that fast but i can go as fast as i want i can get stuck in traffic slam on my brakes you know any kind of stuff like that that happens in traffic and and i'm good to go you know i i i, I feel a little more secure having the bed extender i know a lot of people this is probably a little overkill for some people having this many straps on your kayak but i do like having the bed extender it does offer that little extra security and this is just an inexpensive cheap bed extender i got like on amazon like four years ago it's a little rusty it's time for it to go it's time for me to upgrade and, and get a new one but you know that's it you know i feel very secure secure in my kayak have four straps on on here these kayak straps i got them uh i think i got them when i bought some other kayak carts but they're pretty inexpensive you can find them on amazon as well i'll leave i'll leave everything in the description section of this video if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks appreciate you don't forget like comment subscribe share till next time hopefully catch me hooking up thanks